got some package deliveries today, boys. And I can tell right away by looking at this one with the pink label. This is from our buddies at Gay Parts. I'm mean, really excited because hopefully this will be the final fix for the steering on the 18, right? I've always had the sloppy steering issue with the 18. These guys hit me up again. They sent me a heated vest last year and I actually quite liked it too. So they offered me up a set of gloves, or at least they asked me if they could send them out. I said, yeah, no problem, of course. So I've got the batteries charging up over yonder here. And they threw me this jacket, which I just tried out. And she's actually pretty mint. Throws heat front and rear with these two buttons here. And it's got this little battery pack right there that tells you it even has a digital indicator. Uh, the gloves don't, but they actually just finished charging. Look at that, just turned green from red, so that's mint. Are you kidding me? You sent me candies from Estonia? Ha ha, I love it. Big kick out. Look at that. Jeez. This is a whole new stem. This is the Pittman bushing, yes, right. This is the upper. Okay, so they are exact same. Check out the big fix. So this is out. I've been waiting for this for a long time. This new Pittman is seriously beefy. It comes with a Zerg fitting, so we're gonna be able to get the grease. This setup now is non-greasable, and it only has one pinch point, and the reliefs aren't really reliefed enough. It also looks like he's gone deeper, more aggressive on the spline. I am really hoping that this is going to be the end all be all fix. Whew! She's going to be intense. She's getting an overhaul. Let's get some gummies into us. When you send out a care package, buddy, you don't mess around. Full new steering stem, upper and lower bushings, new pitman arm, double pinch, double relief, super thick with a grease point. This is going to be killer. Camera test, let's check out this angle here and then I'll review the footage. But before we can get at what I want to get to today, I almost forgot to get Curtis a price on a tire. Just gonna do a quick check on the old inventory. I may have to blur some prices here on you. But uh, yeah, we're just doing a quick check of the old GoPro here before we get into cleaning the RAM. We're gonna get dirty in a different way today, boys. Updates, why wouldn't you, right? When a buddy needs a price, like you just wanna make everybody wait. What we're we talking about here. I figure we'll go through the truck as I'm cleaning it. It's our first real thorough cleaning since having it. I'm not going to get into the actual like particulars of mileage because I find that uh, it's all depending on how you drive, you know, the skinny pedal. So, I mean, if you're into it, you're, you're probably going to use lots. But if you're, you know, nice to it, then uh, you can conserve quite well. What are you saying, Curtis? So it's a 30 by 9 by 14 big horn. Darn. 30 by 10 by 14s. Ouch. I hate when you can't help a guy out right away. We could look at ordering it, but uh, anyways, I'm going to finish up here with Curtis and I'll bring you guys back in when we start digging into the ram. Let's do that. Cheers. Let's take a closer look at the ram. Okay, so we fired up that one. Now let's fire up this one here. Yeah, that's gonna be too funny. All right, we got a plethora of cameras. Well, not a, but we got three cameras, but we're going at it, man. This is gonna be the first time I've uh, cleaned uh, the new coming. So, woo! Trying something different with the old uh, head cam on, guys. Hopefully you guys don't mind, but I figured I'd bring you along. Talk about some stuff. We got some exciting news. We just got uh, the call from Bay Marine units inbound from Mexico and uh, yeah, it's that time of the year again. My God, time flies, man. I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I am going to miss these units. I really got attached to them, to be honest with you. I think we should be able to give her a good washing. Let's get out some of the old cleaning utensils, but we definitely need to knock some of this crap off the old boards. These were a great add-on from uh, Kingston Auto Add-ons. Um, to cover up just a bit. I mean, I used to get a lot more on there and it's protecting, so it actually works, even though we still have a little bit of poke there, which is fine and dandy. It looks good in the stance, but I think we're within all the legal limits, so that's a good thing, right? Don't want us to be illegals. New 22s are in, or on their way anyways, basically. So we'll be saying goodbye to the B sooner than later. That's gonna be up for sale at Bay Marine if you're interested. If you're not, you're crazy. Who wouldn't be interested? At least interested, you know what I mean? But, uh, hey, we'll use some of that, some mothers, got some mothers. 
mother's milk, I say. What else we got? Ooh, we got silica shine. I'm gonna kill the muck off right there. What else we got? What else can we do to her? What's this, glass cleaner? It is glass cleaner. Do we wanna get into it? Yeah, maybe we will. The inside of that windshield could use a good cleaning, I'm sure of it. It's the interior. I like to get them done once thoroughly before, before winter comes. You're going in the trailer tonight. We're helping Jer move some stuff, so we'll go out to Jer's. We'll use his shop. He said he didn't mind. It'll probably be a weekend job, but we got all these parts from J Parts. Actually, I got to pile them in the truck. We'll be cleaning them out and putting them back in throughout the process here. That's all you'd need a vacuum for is right in here like that. Oh, we got that old dyno jet. That still needs to be returned. Here's the bra. We should get that out, I guess, eh? This is for the ram. That's our bra, boys. When do you equip your bras, boys? When are you putting your bras on? Take a look at that. I'll have to figure out how to put it on. Never put a bra on before. Embarrassing. This side first. As it overlaps, a little bit of dirt, not bad. Those will shine up real nice with the old. Walk off would make those look absolutely brand new, or you could use the mothers on them, or, but they'd alter shine or the muck off. That silica base, when it comes to rubberized like that, I'm gonna leave that in there so I can wipe out the dash first. We're gonna wipe out the floor back here and wipe up the doors. Give her the good old ready for winter. That's what we're doing here, boys. We're giving her the good old ready for winter. Get ready for the slush, the sand and the salt, unfortunately. We'll wipe that door out. Let's wipe this floor out. This is one of my favorite things. Wipe that floor out. That's awesome. Most people probably frown upon that or, huh, but that I prefer over carpet any day. Let's do it. Oh no, really? Why wouldn't you, eh? Oh, you need that. Yes, you do. I can see the dust on you. I'm sorry, darling. We'll not let you go so long next time. Gotta do that glass too, for sure. Oof, dust in the vents. I was actually rather shocked to see you could get a 2,500 gram for a base price of $58,000, which obviously I think you're going without the comments. Great, e -e 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 but man, she works good. You watch the lusterish shine she puts on this stuff. Look at that. Yeah, that stuff works great. There's no doubt about it. Does it ever. Let's see if we can't get some luxurious shine back into the old ramage. I've referred to this truck before as a base model, basically, but it actually does have a few options on it. Obviously, we've got the Cummins in there. 6.7 liter Cummins, inline six, turbocharged diesel. This one here is not the high output. But uh, she doesn't need to do How we're gonna do this, bring back the new. Oh, this is the driver's side and look how minty that's looking. Reinstall, just like so. Look how nice that looks. Produces almost 400 horsepower, 800 foot-pounds torque. Oh yeah, buddy. Brand spanking new. For the bed utility group, it's got the LED bed lighting, deployable bed step, and uh, spray in bed liner, right? So, and that comes at 750 bucks, right? You can forego, but if you want to tow, I suggest the Cummins. How do you like that one? We're also in the box, fifth wheel, gooseneck, right? So that comes at another $500. Tow package, tow haul, exhaust brake, and leveling, trailer leveling, right? With your trailer brake right there. Chrome trim package, I think that's another grand. Oh, shouldn't have waited so long. I apologize, Ram. I do apologize. Heavy D. 3.73 rear axle gear ratio, which allows it to, to tow effortlessly on the freeway and highways at a, at a nice low RPM, which is uh, definitely saved my pocketbook a lot. A couple of my favorite things about this truck, actually, after just doing the whole detail and the cleaning on it, like I just did, was the lack there of carpet. I can't tell you how nice it was to dig into the interior of this thing without a vacuum. Basically just pulled out all the mats. Got her looking pretty minty. She looks pretty good, eh? Cleans up like a good thing. The built metallic color. They all pretty much come standard nowadays with a backup camera, which is, uh, you know, to be expected. 
Heated mirrors, finally got a chance to try those out. They work a lot better on the 2500 than they did on the Rebel. I don't know why, but my God, they defrost quick. It's got the tow hooks. It's got the transfer case, skid plates, 175 bucks for those options. No, I don't have heated seats. No, I don't have a heated steering wheel, but I do have heated mitts and I do have a heated vest. I could just throw right down on the seat, boys. So uh, there you go. It'll work out all right. But uh, vinyl makes it very easy to clean. Like I said, I just wiped everything down. This one actually has a selectable for uh, gear change on the transmission as well. So that's kind of nice. You could do that on the fly, right? We changed the wheel setup. We got the 20 inch fuel reactions on there with the radar renegade tires. And we're really liking those. The hill start assist, which I like. I got used to that in Ashley's car. That little beetle has that. It's the first time I ever used that in a vehicle when you're uphill and touch the brakes. It'll hold it there for a little while for you, which is kind of nice. It basically has every single tow option that you could really, really ask for. So she's the hauling machine, which is uh, best suited for us, right? So Thompson's did us right there for sure. Um, it is a pretty base model truck, really. Um, I think the side lights and stuff like that might be a little extra option as well. I think that's basically it. Like I said, though, and uh, it comes at a total price. There it is. The full build price, 77 Not too bad considering the MSRP on the Rebel was 96 But that's killer, man. What a beautiful truck. That wraps her up, boys. Not too many options on her. She's got the full tow package option. She's got everything you can pretty much throw at her that way, you know, with the 373 in the rear gearing. Tow's like a dream. Um, bed liner, you got the step, you got the light. Not much, pretty bare bones. Like I said, we threw a wheel and tire package on it that, uh, you know, I can't say enough good things about. Really uh, appreciate the recommendation there, Raj, for sure. But that's it. She's still one clean looking Cummins, and she works even better, so. Yep, get a couple picks. That's it. Wrapping her up, boys. Almost due for an oil change. Cheers. You've always got a buddy at Jim Thompson. Thompson.